Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is another lesson. And uh, with this lesson, I'm hoping to uh, make a quick hit. But if it's not a quick hit, you know, at least, Lord's willing, you'll be edified, all right, by the lesson. So, this is uh, Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 8. It says, But what say it, the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart that is the word of faith, which we preach. All right, so there's a stigma on us brothers here that serve the Lord that go out on the highways and byways and we preach the word of faith you know there's a stigma on us where they want to demonize us and say we're this hate group and you know we're we're a cult but in our reality we're a truth group and we teach the word of faith which we preach okay when we out there teaching of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and bringing out the scriptures we're clearly telling you the words of the Lord not our words, all right? And if anyone, anyone, no matter who they are, all right, rich, poor, free, bond, doesn't matter, all sorts of men, woman, man, female, if you actually sit down, open up your Bible and listen, you might just learn too. And you will see that this is not man-made, all right? This is truly inspired by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. But then again, all right, scriptures, the Lord said he had blinded the minds of them. All right, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. So, yeah, you know, not everybody's going to get it. You know, they're going to be struck with a strong delusion in their mind. You know, the Lord said the deceiver and the deceive is his. You know, so it says, but what say it, the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. And we preach the word of faith every day. You know, cannot say we teach anything else. We teach faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We tell you that the Lord is going to make his second return. All right. We we teach uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, his gospel and his doctrine, you know, of, of our kingdom to come. When Esau fall, Jacob is up next that follow and so on. So verse 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thy heart that Yahweh have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So this is truly a belief thing. Okay? And uh, Paul said, you know, that always stuck with me. What's that Romans, I believe, the 14th chapter and, the, and toward the last few verses. He says, uh, have thou faith, have it to thyself before the Most High. You know, scriptures say, be fully persuaded in your own mind. You know, so this is about a belief. And this is our belief. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and that confess, you know, it, you have to because that's the way that you manifest. You know, when you speak it, you know, that's the manifestation, you know. It's one thing to think of it in your mind, but when you confess it with your tongue, now you have made it manifest. So, matter of fact, just edification purposes, let's see. I just want to look it up for myself, really, you know, but hopefully edifying for brothers and you few women, you know, uh, to confess. Uh, let me see. To say the same thing as another, to agree with, assent, uh, not to refuse, to promise, not to deny, to confess, declare, to, de to confess, to admit or declare oneself guilty of what one is accused of, to profess, to declare openly, speak out freely, to profess oneself, the worshiper of one, to praise, celebrate. So <laughs> you're going to have to praise, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Give thanks. How do you give thanks? You have to confess it. All right? 
So confession was made, acknowledged. Acknowledged with. Okay. So anyway, let's go on. It says, um, verse ten: For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You see, and that's why Yahweh Shai spoke in Mark eight thirty eight. Matter of fact, I'm gonna come back. Romans 10, 10. I'm gonna come back. Let's get that. Uh, Mark 8 and 38. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Because if you're ashamed, and deny the Lord The Lord is going to be ashamed and deny you before the Father And he's coming in the glory of his Father With the holy angels Alright, Revelations 1 and 7 Let me get that real quick Revelations 1 verse 7 It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds What are those clouds? The chariots The angels that ride in those vehicles That's the you know, same vehicle the Lord is coming in Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so to walk. Alright, so let's go back to Romans 10, and I was at verse 10. It says, uh, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scriptures say, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So we're not ashamed of Yahweh Shai. All right. We know uh, that Yahweh Shai is the healer. Why will be why will we be tricked? Okay, out of out of um, why will we be tricked of Satan? Okay, to believe in our Lord to be an enemy. When he comes, when he came to heal. Alright, even in the second coming of him, he's coming to heal. All right. You know, we're not these foolish people today outside, you know, wearing masks because we in fear of a virus. We wear the mask because it's to be peaceful with all men, you know, to go accordingly with what the rules that are set up. As long as it's not, uh, you know, making us to go off on our Lord, you know, and, and, and transgress, then, then, then there's nothing wrong with it. You know, then we do it. Okay, so that we can get the things we need and keep it moving, keep it pushing, you know. So it says, For there is no such, there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that called upon him. And the Jew and the Greek, the Greek is not talking about Edomite, it's not talking about who you call the Europeans today. The Greeks are the Greek speaking Jews. The Hellenized Jews, okay? This is about the Israelite foreigners. You had Jews in the land who kept the law, who knew they were Israelites, and then you had Israelites that were scattered, that that was Hellenized, all right? But they believed in Yahweh Shai and the gospel. So, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, and it ain't, because they all of one same lump, all right? Remember, when we went off, the Lord dispersed us, scattered us, all right. He basically allowed us to be Gentiles. You know, he denied us. It says, for the same Lord is over all, for all, is over all, is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. And that's talking about Israelites. If they believe, then it's possible that they shall be saved. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Or how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Or how shall they hear without a preacher? So you can't be saved unless you was taught the words, the gospel, all right? The doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You will not be able to believe unless you was taught. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they not believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? 
And this is why the Lord set up many, many men, okay, the 144, all right, to go out and prophesy this word on the highways and byways. Because the word of the Lord has to be taught. It has to be taught to wake up his believers, his, his elect. Let me use the word elect, all right? It says, so, you know, this kills that self-made nigga spirit, you know, the self-made nigga spirit. Where you think you could teach yourself and then, you know, you're so well convinced in your own, uh, your own vomit, your own spoil, all right? And then you go out and you head strong and not willing to take reproof. You become proud. You know, the Lord is not with the self-made niggas. All right. This is a body. And he set it up. Uh, he set his way up for us to learn. You just got to follow the ladder. You know, it says verse 15, which which that that's the easy way. The Lord made it made it plain. You know, follow, follow righteous men. You know, and, you know, of course, learn, ask questions and be fully persuaded in your own mind. You know, be convinced so that you will have the word so that Esau can't take that from you. All right. You know, being well convinced, having the full insurance of faith. Verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? So you got men <laughs> and you got women that are sent out here, but they can't teach you to. The, the true word of the Lord because they wasn't sent. So how shall they preach except they be sent? You know, and some of them, yeah, they sent, they sent by Satan. Okay. Sent by the powers that be. These elites setting up their minions like vocab. All right. Just to demonize us brothers and keep tabs on us until the day that they ready to demonize us full throttle. All right. Get put in six gear. You know, building a narrative against us. It says, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And our gospel is the gospel of peace because we're speaking of the Lord's word, which will bring peace unto us as a nation. All right. You know, you got simpletons and simps, you know, that think that we're teaching hate and they of our own race and they're not realizing that this is peace for them to rule the world to be in harmony you know to never to cry to never to die never to hurt you know to have power to be one with our power but instead they tear it down you know because they have their father the devil man Esau how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah say, Lord, who have believed our report? Yeah. The elect have. Who will believe our report? Verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and by hearing of the word of Yahweh. So how are you going to receive faith? You think you're going to wake up one day and just say, I got faith. <laughs> no, man. You know, after hearing the word, you can have faith. But the scriptures say, so then so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word of Yahweh. So when you watch the brothers on your YouTube or you see brothers in person and outside and you listen, that's how you receive the faith. The Lord opened up your mind. You know, remember Ephesians 2 and 8, the Lord said faith is a gift. So you could listen until your ears bleed. If the Lord don't give you the gift of faith, you ain't going to have it. You know, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. And that's what's happening now. As is written in Matthew 24, this gospel shall go out through the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to do a short, short lesson, you know, on what I was reading. You know, in order to get this truth, you have to be taught, you know. And I'll say you have to be taught by men that are anointed, teaching 100% truth, you know. Or, you know, hey, try your luck. But when 
tribulation come, you know, you ain't going to make it because you wasn't built up and rooted, you know. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And uh, those who come across this channel, men first, then you women watch Great Millstone videos, start with our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, you know, and learn, listen with understanding. You know, that's the best advice I can give. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.